Irish minister slams British Brexit goals as unrealistic after open border pledge. The Republic of Ireland's foreign minister has blasted claims Britain can strike new trade deals and remain in the single market as unrealistic. In a dramatic softening of the UK's Brexit stance, Theresa May's government pledged to continue trade with Europe as part of a transitionary deal after the triggering of the Brexit process but the Republic's Minister for Foreign Affairs Simon Covey has claimed hopes of being able to strike new trade deals are not realistic speaking on Newsite about a British trade deal which includes chlorinated chicken from the US, he said, if Britain decides to take an approach that clearly applies different food safety standards to Britain including Northern Ireland, to the common market in the European Union well then we have a real problem there are two partners in this negotiation. The other happens to represent 27 countries and so what we have today from Britain which is welcome is an approach to the negotiations, much of which is supported by the Irish government but we will have to thrash through the issues, find compromises make sure we protect the integrity of the European Union in these negotiations as well as try to facilitate British ambition the idea that Britain is going to be able to negotiate its own free trade agreements with countries all over the world. And at the same time expect barrier free access into the single market, I don't think that in itself is realistic. Mr Covey went on to claim he would treat Britain in a way that was fair and realistic and also stubborn during the Brexit talks. He added, if we believe that these negotiations are moving in the wrong direction if we believe the British government is being unreasonable we will say so. I mean I believe that Ireland is actually Britain's closest friend here in the context of Brexit and friends need to talk to each other honestly. And I think some of the aspirations I've heard are not realistic in the context of the Brexit negotiations and I need to be honest about that. Concerns have been raised about how Northern Ireland will be impacted by Brexit as both the UK and EU attempt to avoid a hard border between the North and South before the Teo Isaac Leo Varadkar's border plans came to light. The Irish ambassador to the UK had told Sky News his country hoped the UK would reconsider exiting the single market and the customs union in order to swiftly dismiss talks about a hard border Dublin is pushing for an invisible land border with the North after the UK leaves the European Union, with customs and passport checks to take place at ports and airports across the entire island instead thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.